For this video, we're going to be looking at the domain and range from the graph of a quadratic function. Okay, let's keep in mind that a quadratic function looks like this. Y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C. Okay, that's in standard form. Um, and if you're looking at what the domain is, you can look at it graphically. And you can also think about it in terms of what can you or can you not put in to these X values. Okay, so is there a number if I had, for instance, if I had Y is equal to 2X squared minus 3X plus 4? Is there a number that I could not plug into that? Any number at all. You could plug in a zero, you could plug in any negative number, any positive number. There's no, no number that you cannot plug into a quadratic, which means that your domain of a quadratic function of a parabola is always going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. Graphically, you can look at it and you can kind of see this graph is going left and down, definitely down, but it's also traveling left and it will keep going left forever out here to the left forever to negative infinity and it'll keep going out here to the right forever to positive infinity now don't get too caught up in the fact that it's going down because yes but that's the range that you you're worried about when you're looking at it going down but it is going out it's expanding out in both directions uh left and right forever so it is negative infinity to positive infinity okay and that is true with every quadratic so i can go ahead and write down on all these negative infinity to positive infinity, negative infinity to positive infinity for the domain, okay? Now the range depends on where the vertex is, okay? So on this one, we look at that vertex, what is that point? That point is negative four comma negative two, okay? So you're looking at the highest point on the graph, and remember range is y values, right? So you're looking at the highest point on this graph because the vertex is the highest point. So what's the y value there? Well, this is x and this is y, right? So our y value of the highest point of the graph is negative two. In other words, if you look at the y-axis and you go up here to the very top of the graph where you can barely see it anymore, what's that y value right there? Negative two, okay? So that's your highest point. What is your lowest point? Well, it keeps going down, 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 down towards infinity, right? And you always have to write your smaller number first. So we'll start with negative infinity because this thing is going down forever and it travels up until it hits the highest point of the graph, which we said was negative two on the y-axis. So negative two, and I'll give it a bracket because we are including the point. The reason we put parentheses on these others is because infinity isn't an actual number. So you can't actually get to infinity, it's an idea. Okay, let's take a look at this next one's range. We already wrote the domain. It goes left and right forever. Now we've got to find the vertex right there. And that vertex is the point negative two. And what's the Y value there? Negative three. Okay, so this Y value is the lowest point in the graph, right? So if you went down the lowest point there, or even better, think of it as coming up like this. And where do you start touching the graph? At negative three. Right, so at negative three is the lowest point of the graph, and then you keep traveling up, 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 up until you get to infinity. Okay, let's do one more. We already said the domain is negative infinity to infinity because it keeps going left and right forever. Now, the range we find that vertex right there, and that vertex is the point let's see, one on the x and negative four. Now, is this vertex the lowest point or the highest point of this graph? What's well, the lowest? So that's what we're going to write first. Oh, let me come back here because I did not write a bracket there. My mistake. I do need a bracket here as well. Okay. When you're, these are always going to be brackets unless, unless otherwise stated, unless there's like a, an open dot on the graph somewhere. The numbers need brackets. Infinity needs parentheses. Okay. So bracket negative four, that's the lowest point. And how high does it go? Infinity. And that's how you found the domain range from the graph of a quadratic function.